Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? We uh, we have a concern by NASA uh, as uh, this morning they have captured uh, at the NASA Solar Dynamic Observatory. Uh, they photographed a coronal hole at the North Pole of the Sun. It was captured today. And if you'll look here, here you see, of course, there is this hole up here opening right in here. And what's happened is it's allowing, it's a hole in the sun's atmosphere, actually. High above the sun's north pole, a vast gap has formed in the sun's atmosphere and it is spewing solar winds into space. And NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory then photograph this, and uh, this is what they call a coronal hole. Now, we know that whenever there are solar flares and solar storms on the sun and a solar flare can release uh, a coronal mass ejection, which these CMEs, when they finally make it to Earth, a lot of times can create some serious damage. They can mess up radar systems. They can knock out shortwave radio or radio communications or satellite communications. They can even fry um, electrical power grids and or they can create magnetic storms. Now this coronal holes are places where the sun's magnetic field opens up and allows a previously trapped solar wind to escape. Now a stream of solar wind flowing from the coronal hole is expected to reach earth today and tomorrow with a 30% to 40% chance of a minor geomagnetic storm when it arrives. Now, I don't think it's anything to really worry about. I mean, you know, uh, there could be some effect to it, but uh, it could create some pretty alarming and, and pretty uh, spectacular auroras might actually be visible. But certainly, the Bible talks about there will be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. Now, since technology has advanced so much that we have the ability to look deep, deep, deep into space, we also have the ability to that our technology is catching up with the prophecies. And so because of our advancement in technology, we're able to actually see biblical prophecy come to pass, of which we wouldn't have known had we not had these advancement in our ability with our technology. So we're living in a time like we've never had before. The Bible says men are running to and fro and knowledge shall increase. And that certainly is happening. Uh, and so as we become more and more advanced and more and more technologically astute, we uh, begin to see it's, if you simply then can fall back and look into the Bible, you'll begin to see that the scriptures are coming to pass. They're coming to life and more and more and more prophecies uh, than ever before are happening. They're all pointing toward the second coming of Jesus Christ. And I think people are not ready. I mean, they even asked the Lord. He was sitting on the Mount of Olives. And they said, Lord, can you tell us the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Jesus began to go down all these different things that be going on on the earth. And um, you can read it for yourself right there in Matthew 24 or Mark chapter 13, or Luke 21. Certainly, we're watching these apocalyptic signs coming to pass. Anyway, keep an eye on what's going on up there on the sun because that's where a lot of the effects that the earth receives comes from the sun, folks. Seriously, it does. And so, we'll continue to pray one for another. We are living in the last days. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time.